I always have felt like uh, I've been like the worst decision maker and just found decision making like a completely completely challenging <laughs> and um, you know the, from the most simple decisions to the elaborate ones found equally as challenging like what should I do today it needs to be the best day ever <laughs> I need to have all of these things and <clears throat> or like what film should I watch it needs to be have it needs to give me that perfect experience it needs to tick all of the boxes I need, I need to have that you know that just that sensation going or going to the other end of, of decisions of decisions who should that um, that partner be or what should that career be and w how should I use my time and energy what country should I go to or <laughs> should I build a house or not should I have a child or not whoa big decision <laughs> all of these decisions arising in the space of open intelligence seeing these this old way of relating to my decisions and what would happen a decision would come up and then I would look at basically how can I get the most what direction will give me the most positive descriptions <laughs> basically that was my method of decision making what direction will give me the most positive descriptions and so when we see in our experience how incredibly changing our thoughts emotions and sensations are our feelings totally spontaneous and next moment they're up other moment they're down to start basing my decisions on on that it was obviously completely crazy and what I found was that I could take a short moment of open intelligence and rely on open intelligence to inform my decisions after being introduced to the balance view training I started to see that I could allow everything to be just as it is and what the context of the decision making came into was what will be of greatest benefit to all and that totally revolutionized each and every moment in my decision making seeing that actually in my experience I I didn't have to rely on positive data to have a good time I didn't have to rely on positive data to to have a, a great a great day <laughs> I could experience negative data positive data negative data and everything seemed to be increasingly perfect just as it was and just as it is so through seeing open intelligence inseparable from whatever it is we're experiencing there is this immediate empowerment of complete fulfillment with whatever it is that is arising complete fulfillment and so that just took all of the pressure off decision making for me completely seeing that ah, if I go in this direction I'll probably have both negative and positive equally as I go in this direction I'll probably have both negative and positive I have no idea actually if I have both negative or positive or more of this or more of that but feeling this deep power that I don't care I don't care what I experience anymore because I know inseparable from that is a powerful unending experience of complete fulfillment so getting to know that is in each and every moment these short moments it takes us from decision making where we're bombarded by all of these data streams trying to look at them and analyze them like being in the valley with all of the trees 
looking at them, analyzing them, oh, this way, this way, only seeing a little bit of the, the path ahead of us because there's all of these data descriptions going on and those short moments of open intelligence where instantaneously on the mountaintop, seeing the vast vantage around us, knowing, knowing deeply which direction is of greatest benefit and that providing the greatest satisfaction, the really incredible, amazing satisfaction that I was really looking for in each of those positive descriptions or examples. Really looking for this always on stable satisfaction. And so I, I actually feel like there's, there's no decisions anymore. <laughs> it's funny to, to, funny to say that because I, I, I was one that would stay up at night if I had a decision. I would be up for hours toiling over this decision. And then I would, I would see a decision come up and I would, in my life and I would be devastated because I knew I'd be thinking about this decision until I decided, <laughs> basically. And so <clears throat> I just hoped that it would be, that it would, that I would decide soon so I could stop, stop thinking about it. And in many cases, I would just make that decision just super quick in just whatever. <laughs> so I don't have to think about it anymore. And you can see how completely, completely stupid that kind of decision making was <laughs> in my life. I saw that. And, and so to have the ability to feel so empowered to be able to allow everything to be as it is to see everything unfold naturally, allowing these decisions to arise and effortlessly, effortlessly seeing how obvious the benefit of all, the direction that is of greatest benefit to yourself included, to all those involved and to all is. It totally changed <laughs> my whole life of decision making to now I can really clearly say there's nothing at all that challenge me, challenges me about decision making. I'm excited by decision making. If there is a decision coming up, I'm like, wow, how will this, which way will I go? Just totally excited. Can't wait to see which way will be the benefit of all. Hanging out, seeing all of the positive data streams appear, the negative data streams to appear, spontaneously releasing like a line drawn in space, effortlessly resolving. And then from each moment to moment, we, we see the, the power of open intelligence more and more clear, like that sun rising in space. <clears throat>